Hey guys, it's Neat One Up here, and welcome back to the Neat Wave series. Today we'll be playing through Mega Man 5 with no damage. The story of Mega Man 5 is as follows. A group of robots really want to rule the world for some reason, and the villain is suspected to be Proto Man as he is seen taking away Dr. Light. So of course, Mega Man has to go stop him, and his robot henchmen. Mega Man 5 is one of my personal favorite Mega Man games, and I think 5 did the suspected villain formula better than 4, though a lot of people may agree to disagree with that, but I still find 5 to be pretty underrated. But anyways, let's get started with Mega Man 5, the neat way. Now a lot of people like to start the game off with Starman, but I like to start the game off with Waveman, so we're going after him first. Starman is the next person in the weakness triangle, so don't worry. Waveman's stage isn't all that bad. It has cool stage design, these bubbles that reappear in Mega Man 9, and my favorite part of the entire game, the jet ski section. But be careful around these cracks in the floor. They will expel gas if you get too close. When you see these two Irukons, jump over them, then jump again to get the letter E. In each of the eight stages, there's one letter, and if you collect all the letters, they'll spell Mega Man 5 in the weapon select screen. It'll also unlock Beat, an attack bird that Dr. Cossack made for Mega Man. He's really OP. Anyways, time for Wave Man. He'll use his water wave in a random place on the floor, then he'll shoot an anchor at you, then he'll jump towards you, then he repeats. Try not to be moving when he's about to use his water wave. You'll risk it appearing underneath you if you do. Also, the charge shot in this game is absolutely wonderful and huge and powerful. But Waveman's one of the easier bosses if you get the hang of it. After defeating Waveman, we get Water Wave. Now for Starman. This stage is a cakewalk. Also, the letter M is in this stage. Let's just skip to Starman, this stage is easy as all heck. When the fight starts, immediately slide forward. Then backstab him with Water Wave. Water Wave can temporarily cancel his Star Crash. After defeating Starman, we get his Star Crash. We also get Super Arrow, an arrow that you can ride on that goes a lot faster than Rush Jet. You can also use it to kill enemies. Now for Gravity Man. This stage has an upside down gimmick when you walk through these barriers. Now, you must press up and A to slide. To get the letter M, make a short jump, as if you want to jump into the pit. The barrier will save you, and will let you get the letter. Alright, let's keep- What the- Dude, let me- Um, okay, that was weird. Now for Gravity Man. He's weak to Star Crash, but I use Charge Shots on him here. They're not as effective as Star Crash is, but I really like the Charge Shot in this game, what can I say? Periodically, he'll swap the direction of gravity. His direction will always be the opposite of your direction. You can only hurt him when the direction is being changed. Also, try not to slam into Gravity Man. If I recall correctly, he does a lot of contact damage. But anyways, defeating him will give us Gravity Hold. On to Gyro Man stage. Again, the stage is a pushover. I guess I can see why people don't really like this game. These stages are really easy. But I mean, I still have fun playing these stages. To get the A without dying, you have to jump at just the right time. These platforms will fall a second after you stand on them. Also, this part of the stage is kinda scary. But after pushing through all that, it's now time for Gyro Man. Head in with Gravity Hold. Don't use it too fast, otherwise you'll run out. Use it at certain intervals and pay attention to Gyro Man's iframes. He's in the clouds for most of the fight, but when you see his gyro attack coming towards you, jump over it and immediately slide forward. Otherwise, Gyro Man will land on top of you. But after defeating Gyro Man, we get Gyro Attack and Rush Jet. Now's time for Crystal Man. This stage can be kinda scary for newer players, especially the parts with these crystals. 
You can use Star Crash if you want for these parts. But be warned that Star Crash will fly away in the direction you're facing when you press B again. So only use Star Crash if it despawned. Here, in order to get past this with no damage, first, let the Bombiers go past. Go to the platform with the E-Tank, make a big jump to the left, and never stop moving left here. This game introduces the M-Tank, which won't just refill all of your life, but also all of your weapon energy. But it can take quite a while to refill, and the sound can be pretty annoying. To get the letter V, drop down while hugging the left wall. When you pass these spikes, hold left on the D-pad until you get the letter. Let's fight Crystal Man. I always have trouble dodging his Crystal Lie attack at the start of the fight, so I equipped Star Crash here. Then, when his Crystal Lies despawned, I stayed close to him and used Gyro Attack on him for the rest of the fight. If you're too far away from him, he'll use his Crystal Lie again. When we defeat him, we get Crystal Eye. Now for Napalm Man stage. These Apache Joes can be kind of annoying, but you can use Crystal Eye or Gyro Attack to get rid of them. The letter N in this stage is very easy to get. Be careful around these missiles. When they hit a wall, or you shoot them, they'll split into four tiny projectiles. Now let's skip to Napalm Man. He's weak to Crystal Eye. If you get close enough to him, you can lock him in a pattern where he throws his napalm bomb, then he jumps towards you, then he repeats. Now we get napalm bomb. This stage is pretty self-explanatory, and rather long. The letter G in this stage is in a room blocked off by these damageable rocks. There are two more rooms like this in this stage. This room gives you an M tank, and this room gives you health and weapon energy. Let's skip to Stone Man. He's weak to Napalm Bomb. He's invincible when he's a pile of rocks, so wait when he becomes a whole robot and nail him with Napalm Bombs while you can. Now we get Power Stone, one of the worst weapons in the game. Time for Charge Man. The stage has you on top of a train for the majority of the stage. The letter A is kinda tricky to get, but it is possible to get without rush. And with that, we've unlocked Beat. This stage is pretty self-explanatory, but the boss isn't, so let's skip to it. He's weak to Power Stone. When the fight starts, jump over Charge Man when he's charging towards you. Then jump over him twice while also using Power Stone on him. Then walk on over to the other side of the arena, and react to whatever he does. If he charges towards you, keep walking to the wall. When you reach the wall, jump over him and damage him while doing so. Then walk on over to the other side and react. If he shoots out coal, go to the wall and dodge the coal accordingly. He should charge at you afterwards. Do what you did at the start of the battle. Eventually, Power Stone will show itself to be a better weapon than I gave it credit for, because this is the hardest boss of the initial eight. Now we get Charge Kick, another contact weapon, similar to Top Spin, except you use this every time you slide. Now for the Proto Man stages. From this point forward, weapon energy stays constant between stages, so pay attention to your weapon energy meters and make an effort to refill on whatever weapons you need the most of. The first stage isn't all that bad. Charge shots will one-hit KO these Sumatrans. Oh yeah, also there are these disappearing blocks in this stage, but they're pretty easy. Near the end, there are these rounders. When they first appear on screen, get into position and don't move until they start circulating you. Otherwise they'll hit you, and I learned that the hard way. Now for the boss of the stage. It's weak to water wave. Every time you damage it, it'll shoot at you. When you're not shooting at it, it'll shoot at you on a timer. And the more damage it takes, the faster it'll get. And you can only use water wave when you are on the ground, so yeah. Be careful here. Eventually, it'll go down. Now for Proto Man Stage 2. You can use Charge Kick to go past this guy. And now for the scariest room in the game. Use Star Crash in this room. Beware of the spikes, beware of the conveyor belts, and most importantly, beware of the enemies that can drop energy on you, throwing you off. I remember the first time I played this game, this room was really annoying. 
but when I started training for this no damage run, I realized how useful Star Crash is in this room. Besides that, the stage is pretty easy. The boss though, can be a bit tricky to jump over and to harm. Yeah, I know beats his weakness, but I used beat in the very last room of the stage. Sorry. After that, Proto Man Stage 3 is mostly free. But of course they brought back these things! Also, this stage has quite a few goodies here too. But let's skip to the boss. He's really easy. When he shoots these shots, just slide under him. If you get close enough, he'll fire these donuts. Before he fires them, his chest light will blink twice. Now for Proto Man Stage 4. The stage is just these blocks that you need to take out. But don't get crushed by the floor, it's instant death. Here, I use my M tank to refill Beat's weapon energy. Now for the boss. Wait, my controls are locked. I don't... I don't believe it. I took damage. This run is a failure! No! Proto Man jumps in and gives Mega Man an L tank, which will refill Mega's life once he touches it. This is the boss. So, it isn't Proto Man. That's good news. The boss is pretty simple. But his shots travel pretty fast, and the lag can also throw you off. Or at least it threw me off a few times. Eventually, the guy will go down, and the power will go out, and then, gasp, Dr. Wily appears and reveals that the robot we just fought was Darkman. And he also tells us that Dr. Light is imprisoned in his castle, so of course, we're gonna go after it. In Wily Stage 1, do not fall to the right of this platform. After that, the stage is again self-explanatory, and the trash compactor from Mega Man 4 is back to The boss, Big Pet, is also easy. Use Crystal Eye against him, that's his weakness. Just wait for his miniatures to be cooperative, shoot his spike platforms, and shoot his head. Now for Wily Stage 2. Something I realized recently is that when you're in the water in this game, you gain Mega Man 6 controls, in that you cannot jump out of a slide underwater. This Power Muscler can be taken out from the ladder with either Star Crash or Power Stone, but I'd recommend Star Crash. The boss of this stage, Circring Q9, is really easy again. Just wait for him to stop wafting around the screen like a maniac and shoot him from the sides. Now for Wily Stage 3. This will be a perfect time to use the M tank, cause it's the boss rush. Each boss uses the exact same strategy as seen in their stages. And if you're curious, yes, Wave Man is weak to charge kit. Now for the boss, Wily Press. Try to jump in between the spikes in the middle rhythmically. When the Wily Press freezes in place, it'll come down and try to crush you. Slide out of the way and shoot Wily's window. That's the weak point. Eventually, the Wily Press will go down, but Wily will go up to the last stage in the game, Wily Stage 4. There are only three enemies in the stage. One Dachon, one Twin Cannon, and another Dachon right before the boss door, leading to the boss fight against Wily Machine Number 5. It has four attacks. A missile attack, which fires three missiles at lightning speed, two ball attacks, one of which bounces the ball further than the other, and a sucking in attack. I find the sucking in attack to be the safest time to shoot Wily, as his machine will move forward when you damage it. Eventually, Wily Machine 5 will get destroyed. But, we have one more boss fight against Wily Capsule 2. Time to use Beat. Wily Capsule 2 will appear in preset locations around the screen. When he appears, he'll fire an orb to the floor and it'll split in two and go across the floor. Jump over it. Then, he'll fire four orbs that'll go in a circular motion and expand. Beat works wonders against him, if you have full ammo when you use him. Eventually, Wily Capsule 2 will be taken down, 
and Mega will chase Wily down and will also rescue Dr. Light. And that is Mega Man 5 the neat way. Somehow Mega is able to lift the entire ceiling from collapsing on top of him, Light, and Wily. Why didn't you do that in the trash compactor part of Wily 1, dude? And Wily gets away. But Proto Man saves Dr. Light and Mega. Wily's fortress collapsed, Proto Man sinks in the corner of the screen, and that's the game. Final thoughts on 5? I love this game. I think it's very underrated, but I can see why people don't love this game. I mean, the stages are pretty easy, and the end game isn't exactly all that, but I still have a lot of fun playing this game. The soundtrack though? For me, the songs in the OST are kind of a hit or miss. The end credits theme are a hit for me, but some of the songs aren't very great. But I mean, the writer of the Mega Man 5 soundtrack also wrote the Sheet Man theme from Mega Man 10, and I love that theme. But um, I hope you enjoyed this little guide through Mega Man 5, and if you did, please leave a like. But if you didn't, please leave a dislike. And if you'd like to stick around for more of my content, please consider using your metal blade and slice that subscribe button in half. And I shall see y'all in the next one. And until then, peace.